the Christian community and the gay community. Here we go, baby. Listen, they have been at odds for so long, mm. right? We think this, we think this, and they're always fighting. There's always protests. There's always marches. It's always in the news. Why don't we just be like, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> we want to reach common ground here. Let's start with Carrie Underwood. We both <laughs> love her. They both love her, dude. She's the olive Let's branch. Let's start with <laughs> Carrie Underwood, dude. Nice. I went to this concert at like Jesus Take the Wheel, yep. and Carrie Underwood is a professed public Christian. Yeah, yeah, and she, but most most country people kind of by default come are. to the territory. Yeah, right? yeah yep. but she's like Jesus Take the Wheel is like a you can sing that at church, mm -hmm. and a couple of her she sang uh, uh, "How Great Thou Art." Nice. How oh, great that must have went thou up. Oh, bro. She also sang it at CMA Fest last year at, at Nissan Stadium. It was people were just going nuts. It's like her thing now. I was going to make a video that would be like worshiping Jesus or Carrie Underwood. Because mm. right? people were just like, How great thou art, Carrie. <laughs> then you go like, How great thou art. You're like, Oh, the song switched. And now it's like, uh, whatever, slashes tires. Yeah, whatever I was going to say, Doug Marquis. Yeah. <laughs> Doug Marquis into the. But like, there were, there were, I was like, I looked around. I was like, There's a lot of like, gay couples in here mm -hmm. a lot of gay couples so they were like hey we stand for sanctity of marriage we went you're like hey cowboy casanova mm -hmm. let's start there mm -hmm. we both love her all right well then let's work out our differences yeah because there, the there's some overlap in this venn diagram here. yeah 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 <laughs> in like, the middle is carrie like, underwood <laughs> <laughs> gay community christians carrie underwood, carrie underwood. <laughs> you're like hey we can't have health insurance. He's like, hey, denim and rhinestones. You're like, nah, nah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm you're just like, saying. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I don't know. It's like a, like a lot of the. <laughs> we I, solved it, dude. <laughs> there, I go, who? It's very confusing because you're like, like some, you know how some like groups like pick somebody. Like, I yeah. think like Brian Regan was like, dude, I'm like big with like Mormons. Mm. He goes, I don't really even know why. But we looked up and like Carrie Underwood, like in 2012, was like said something like pro gay marriage, and, and they then were like, they, that's they just been riding with her ever that's since. That's us, yeah. <laughs> but that's a, you would think like you, if like a lot of a lot of kids there, mm -hmm. you're like all right, like young girls. Sure, they were like I could see your mom loves Carrie, Carrie Underwood's like an icon. Yes, they were like this is, and if you're a mom with a daughter, this is. I would want my daughter to be like, it's a good, wholesome show. Yeah. Oh, and she's been that for, yeah. I mean, probably two for decades forever. now, like, yeah. I feel like. And you're sitting next to a girl with a fade and cargo shorts. Yep. And it's like, dude, let's start here. <laughs> <laughs> this is I, common ground. Yeah. Hey, let's build here. Carrie Underwood? <laughs> this every female country song is about, like, a guy that, like, cheated and we're going to kill him. Yeah. And it, it's been like well documented because we looked it up. I go, hey, just forgive your ex boyfriend or whatever. Dixie Chicks had one. Was that Earl? Everybody has. Oh yeah, that one's. I have a joke about that in my show. Yeah, that one's a. That was a way across the line. Yeah, they they got Earl. You know it's a, you know it's a funny <laughs> would it be like uh like uh goodbye Earl in in 2023 mm -hmm. like trying to get by oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. What's the lyrics? Do you have the lyrics? Yeah, boy. Hold on. <laughs> we might as well do it. We're going to yeah, do this. Yeah, I might as well do it. I mean, you didn't know why I didn't want to, but here, here we are. Okay, well, here we are. All right. Like, okay. All right. So, who am I? I'm like uh, uh, legal. I'm legal at the record label. Okay. All right. So, you pitch me your uh, song. Okay. So, like, we have this song. Okay. Right. You know, every uh, every girl goes through breakups. Sure, sure, and sure. And when you do, like, emotionally. Love that. You really think, like, you know, you want to take this to the extreme. Oh, I love Emotions that. take over. And so, this song is about taking it to the extreme you know and that's popular mm -hmm. and you're three women right in your band we are and a lot of our 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 fan base is women right some that are uh i would say of the lesbian genre mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. are going to be against men mm -hmm. so this is going to play it's right. like morgan wallen yep. writing a song about whiskey yeah you writing a song about how you don't like men i love this yes. all right what are we how, what's the start so here's what we want to do okay. uh we want to <laughs> I right, keep going. I we want to. I'm like reading the lyrics as I'm pitching this. Okay. We want to. We want to paint the picture that he's a bad guy. Okay. So that way, when we go to the extreme, they're with us on it. So we want right. to. We want to paint the picture. He's an abuser. Uh, okay. The Boyfriend, guys. husband is abused. Bad guy. Yeah. Okay, bad, got real got bad got guy. Got and yep, so yep, then, yep. Uh, you know, we're we're gonna file uh, for divorce. Okay. File for divorce. Yep. And then yep. uh, and then 
we want to get a restraining order. Okay, that's all. The, all this legal and yep. lawful. Yeah, I follow all this. And then I, like uh, this. I don't know then, where the well, I don't know where the hook is yet, but yep. okay. And, and eventually, we uh, we want to kill him. Whew. All right. Um, uh, wh- uh, okay, walk me through the uh, what? what? <laughs> All right. Well, Lee, we got to paint the picture. This guy must be terrible. Wait, what is it? What? Do the one liner where the girl, the other girl comes, what well, she comes to town or something, doesn't she? Wait, let me find it. The other girl. No, go up. I wish I knew yeah, the lyrics yeah, no, better. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, go up. <laughs> Two weeks after she got married, well, she, she started got getting abused. Horse world. Okay, go some right, right away, Marianne. Go. Oh, yeah. Right here? Yeah. Right away, Marianne flew in from Atlanta. Yeah, so okay, my, so, so my, uh, so my so friend flies in. Friends, support, moral support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a red-eye flight, like, came as soon as she could. And okay, then, good, sure, sure. And, like, I we work, we'll, like, work out a plan. Like, the like I'll work out a plan with the friend who comes in. We'll figure out kind okay. of how we want to, like, I what like we want to do. I like this lyric. She held Wanda's hand, and they worked out a plan. Right. Supportive friend. And then I like the next lyric, even. The next one is really good. If you you see that one, it says, uh, and it didn't take him long to decide that Earl had to die. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Uh, listen, there's, you know what, um, domestic. In 2023, there's a lot, there's going to be some groups that are not, uh, whew, how do I say this? Not going to be supportive. But maybe if we get, uh, read the next lyric. Maybe the way we could, instead of us doing it, maybe the cops can, maybe we can do this legally. Well, we were thinking like maybe like, um, like we could, we could like have them over. We could like fix them a drink. Okay. The cops, okay. The cops come in, cops came by to bring <laughs> Earl in and they searched the house high and low. They tipped their hats and said, thank you, ladies. If you hear anything, let us know. Okay, so the cops just didn't find anything. No, they didn't find anything. Okay, so all right, yeah. so <laughs> so the cops, the, the law that was set up was like, hey, I don't think there's anything here. Yeah. Okay, all right, yeah, all right, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, uh, so we'll, we will, after he's dead. The weeks went by, summer, spring turned to summer, summer turned to fall. Turns out he was a missing person who no one missed at all. We really stand behind that line. That one's one of our favorites. Ooh, for sure. Okay. Well, can we phrase it differently <laughs> in any way? Yeah. So they kill him and bury. What they, they kill do? him. They wrap him in a tarp and then they throw him over the side of the highway. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I, I intrude, dude. <laughs> yeah, that, wait, where does it say that? No, they literally. So they, I, I'm pretty tarp? sure they make him a drink. They drug him. Yeah. They drug him. Wait, and go then up, they go wrap up. him yeah. in a tarp. This, yeah. is, this is where they do it right here. Yeah. Oh, they're those right. black eyed peas, they taste all right to me. So they put it in the black eyed peas. Oh, in the food. Yeah, there you go. Right? Yeah. You feeling weak? Why don't you lay down and sleep, Earl? And it ain't it dark wrapped up in that tarp, <laughs> Earl? Goodness, dude. <laughs> and like like wow. And this is like the Dixie Chicks who like who like uh it like changed their name to the chicks because they're like, hey, we don't want to be right. Right. Like, hey. <laughs> which is like me calling the Dixie Chicks in 2023. Hey, super quick. I know like like from a moral standpoint, you guys are leading the way. Mm. I love that Dixie has a lot of negative connotations. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, super quick. What about that one song? <laughs> oh, which one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just again, we're just reviewing some of these old lyrics here. Uh, you said there was a domestic situation. The cops came over and didn't find anything, meaning so the woman didn't press charges formally. So. Um, <laughs> You killed him, you drugged him and wrapped him up in a tarp. So I've gone back and forth with this for a long time. So like Saturday Night Live, Mm -hmm. right? Great program. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, that, that <laughs> like everyone cancels their plans at 11 o'clock on Saturday night to watch. For sure. Uh, yep. What's that? No one does. And the <laughs> ratings are literally going straight down. Okay, got it. Uh, all right. So it's a very, what you would call very, I don't, I hate the term woke because it's just like, yeah, like if somebody says, like with a bunch of libtards, it's like, all right, you're, you're, you're not help. You're not helping. Yeah. You're not helping. Right. If somebody said woke, woke is like a, I don't want to say that's what SNL is, but they're very like, they were, they were still like, as of almost in this year, they were still like wearing masks in the, you know, when they all come like out on production. the stage yeah. at the end of the show and like wave it to everybody. Like they were doing it for forever. Wow. For, I don't, I would have to go back and look to see how long they were, but they're very like, like for I mean they're they're New York yeah they're sig- it's signaling yeah yeah they're very like none of the anyway every every um, so they do this joke swap thing have you seen it no oh wait with uh, yeah. Colin and and uh, uh, Michael Luke and Michael Che yeah yeah which is which is unbelievable so funny it's unbelievable yeah and let me just say at the top 
It's unbelievable. Love it. It's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. Now that that's out of the way. <laughs> and it's great. And that's, I think that's like literally save. It's like just carrying Saturday Night Live. Yes. And that's all I ever see of Saturday Night Live, by the way. Yes. Is that. It's definitely the only thing that I'm laughing at when it comes up on my feed. For sure. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you say, I don't want to make, I don't want to make racist jokes because, uh, as a, as a show or yeah, as a talent? As a, as a show. Okay. Uh, we're not, we're, we stand against racism. Yes. Because it perpetuates. I like where you're going. It perpetuates stereotypes. Yep. Uh, it, paints one, uh, it paints one race as a negative light that all, and all these things that racist jokes are you supposed to stand against. You create this joke construct where you switch, where the joke contract, explain it. It's basically- It's a white guy and a black guy. And they- They write jokes for each other to deliver. And it's funny. Yeah. Because the other guy is reading what are now the most wildly offensive jokes. Yeah. They're the radioactive ones that you would would keep to yourself and send in your group chat. Comparing like a black guy to like- a gorilla, right? Uh, comparing like a black guy to like like abandoning his family. Yeah, maybe all, say something against the white guy too, just so. We uh, <laughs> yeah, or, the, the, or like he's the white guy. All these nerdy, yes, like stereotypes of white guys, mm-hmm. and and then they're like they don't know stuff. So they're not fashionable. They know they do. They go after each other. Yes, and it is hilarious. It's fantastic, but there, it's just this little like joke construct that now lets. All those things that you like, like 10, 11, 12, 13 year old kids that are on TikTok, right? That, that may or may not have ever even known about these stereotypes. Mm-hmm. That let's say a black man is abandoning his family. Mm-hmm. Where would you know about that? Right. And then th- it, it, this, what I'm saying is, this is everything you stand against. Yes. I, but, I don't know how it got approved. No, but it's funny. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. But it's contradictory to what they're yeah, standing for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For. I'm yes. just saying, don't stand up here and be like, we're anti when you do that. And it's your most successful segment, in my opinion. And 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 know what else? Everyone loves it. Mm-hmm. So it's it's on. Uh, the onus is on. But just don't when you say, hey, like, there's a lot of these comics that are like, just say, I, I mean, there's a, the joke that's been going around that's just wildly offensive, but it's hilarious. It's so funny. I don't even want to play it. It's so funny. It has like 20 comments and like 780,000 shares. <laughs> Meaning like... Nobody wants to show up in no, the comment section, dude, but they want no, to share it with everybody. Go, but I, and no one share. But everybody... A share is, you know, like on all the apps, if you if you click the link and text it, yep. that's a share. Yes. Because it, it it's tracking all of that. Yep. So you go, this is horrific. Yeah. And then... It, and then it goes everywhere, but nobody wants to put this. So you go, hey, all this is what those jokes are what all of us in this country think is funny. Yes. Okay. So yes. look yourself in the mirror. Yeah. Number one. And they are funny. And it, it shows that they know that, which makes the whole them standing and posturing for all this. Stuff. It's like, but you, so you do know though, that yeah. this is hilarious yeah. because you continue to march these guys out to do this segment and say, yes, and you continue to keep and you promote and yeah, it yeah. and all like, and all the same stereotypes, by the way. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like, like, like it's like the uh, Billy Wayne Davis, who's a comic, uh, has a great joke about ventriloquists. Mm-hmm. He goes like, I'm not racist. The puppet is, <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> dude, right. because like, like, uh, Jeff Dunham has made, but yeah. by the way, by the way, is in arenas, yes, exclusively in arenas. Yeah, Je- if you look like at the Vegas b- residency the, type stuff, the biggest yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, if Jeff Dunham came to Nashville, he's at Bridgestone. Yeah, there's I'm, like, and I'm going, and he's probably breaking the attendance record yeah. because <laughs> yeah, because it's just him in a stool. <laughs> no ice, <laughs> no ice, dude. <laughs> what if he did Jeff Dunham on ice? <laughs> Jeff Dunham on ice. <laughs> so he goes like, he has like. <laughs> Gosh, dude, he has like he has like uh he has like the 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 grandpa, right? Yes, he's like get off my lawn. I can't stand them Mexicans, right. and he's like, dude, yeah. So like, but he's saying it, dude. <laughs> it's just this small like tr- like trick in the human brain. They go, oh, okay, yeah. Like I used to have a joke in my show that it goes like I would go down to I like we used to do this like um we play basketball like downtown, yeah. 
and then like in like the like inner city and i would hear i was homeschooled so i'd hear all the the lingo the kids were using yeah but i wouldn't know how to put those words in sentences right so i'd be back in the suburbs this is on my first special i think and i'm walking through the park i see a baseball on the ground i'd be like yeah i'd hit that <laughs> because it's like but what is the joke? The joke is it's a sex joke. Right. But I am the naive kid. But I made it, dude. Right. So I must know what it is. <laughs> but they're like, ah. Right. Right? Because they're along for the ride. They just bought into it. And they, they, like, they it's get like it. a little like, tri like it's a, it's like, yeah, like ventriloquism. was like, he's literally, like, you can't see his mouth moving. So you're like, it's because Jeff is the straight man. Right. Jeff, the guy, mm -hmm. is, and it's like Ahmed, the, the dead terrorist. Right. Like, saying all these horrific, but you can't see his mouth moving. It's like, and then he's like, dude, you can't say, ah. Oh. <laughs> and he's going, hey, dude, that's across the line. Yeah. Right? Right. That's the thing. Yep. I think. That's the entire, yeah, that's the bit, is it? Yeah, him like trying to be like, oh, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes like, it's the, it's the, it's the grandpa, the Earl or whatever, not Earl. That's for, it's, it's the, <laughs> her, he's dead. Yeah. It's a uh, the grand, the old crotchety, yeah, racist grandpa, right? right? Yeah. And then there's the there's the terror, the Ahmed. Those are the biggest ones. I'm looking at yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Jeff Walter Walter, 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 Walter. Yeah, Walter. Peanut was the purple creature that he okay, has. I don't remember that one. And then, yeah. Uh, Ahmed. Ahmed is the dead terrorist. And so, yeah. And so he's like, it's, all, I mean. Jose Jalapeno on a stick. <laughs> on his thick. No. That was, dude, the, that was, what, no, that was what he said. No, That's, no the dude, puppet says say it that. Though. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, say it again. I can't. <laughs> it wasn't me. Sweet Daddy D. Melvin, the superhero guy. Little some of these guy. must have come after I after I got on. No, there. I think some of them they, they, they you don't really like. The, That's so. The funny, character man. doesn't really like connect. So you're like, <laughs> all right, this guy's got to go. Yeah, but it's just like, hey, Saturday Night Live. Like, we're, hey, we're all fine with it. Yeah, we love the jokes. Do more like that. Do more, but but don't say you're like like they canceled like Shane Gillis mm -hmm. fired right? right for sure because he what did he do. I don't know. By the way, his, Asian Asian jokes. By the way, his career has gone unbelievably, unbelievably, impossibly more successful than Saturday Night Live could ever made him. I didn't know who he was until yeah. that happened, yeah. and now he's, I think, one of the funniest people in the now world. Now you can't find a Shane Gillis ticket. Yeah. And so yeah, or Melissa Via mm -hmm. same thing. Mm -hmm. She, they hired her, and then somebody went and found her old tweets. And yeah. They're like, we stand against, but you don't, right? Be but and um, and all the way. I'm fine with it. And I like the jokes. We're not saying, we're not, we're just saying if there's a, all, these are all over TikTok. Yeah. The, the racial swap, whatever it is. Yeah. And everyone that's listening to this has heard them. Yep. If not, I would say, go look one up. Go watch them. And they're hilarious. You will, you will die. You will die. Yeah. It, they're hilarious. But is there's a 10, 11, 12 year old kid on TikTok. This could be the first time he's ever heard this. Yeah. Yeah. And that you're like perpetuating stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That how is that not? Mm -hmm. And by the way, I'm a comedian. I'm into it. Mm -hmm. I think the bit's hilarious. Just don't grandstand. Right. That's all I'm saying. Female influencers, like, what do you want to see from me? Like more try-ons? <laughs> um, more day in the life, more halls, more parenting. Get ready with me. What do you want to see? I'm like, hey, Brittany. Go back and look at the analytic. Look at the views. They'll tell you. They'll tell you exactly what they want to see. Bikini photos, Brittany. That's yeah. why we're here. I don't know. Yeah, just go see. You know what they like. Yeah. You've have you ever posted more than one time on the internet? You know. Yeah. The the analytics are so robust. Like I, I will because I was a thinking, lot of you have been asking me. So many people like going forward. What do you want to see from me? I'm like, are you out of ideas? Yes. Like, like. You know what they want to see. You By the way, some of those answers are probably wild. Yeah. Hey, what do you want to see from me? No. Huh. Do you want to see more um, <laughs> some <ideas>. workout? <laughs> do you want to see more workout videos? Do you want to see my diet? Do you want to see day in the life? What else is there? More of um, get ready sparkles, my get dog. Ready with, yeah, get ready. <laughs> more. Yeah. You're like, I don't know. Go back and just see what the what people like. Finance. I want finance yeah. advice. You're like, wow, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Things that get your tires pumped is what we called it. Yes.
And this is like very like we said like for a pastor. They're like, do you want to tell everybody about Jesus? Do you want to lead people in their relationship with the Lord? Do you want to serve your community? Yes. But also, give me 1%. Mm -hmm. Give me half of 1%. Does it feel good to your ego when you're up there and it's packed? Right. Just give me 1%, and then we can debate. Yep. Right? If you are a, uh ER nurse, yeah, I love helping people. Yeah. I love saving lives. I love... I'll give you 99.9% .9 of that. Mm -hmm. Is there 1% of you that goes on a little bit of a power trip and you're like, I'm holding someone's life in my hand and I feel very, very important. Or when you get to tell somebody what you do for Save a living. Lives. It's like, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm an ER nurse. And so, and I go, I, am I like, do I like helping people like have a fun night out? Yes. Mm -hmm. But do I like people that are like struggle with like depression? I bring some levity to their day. Do I enjoy that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, well, I'm getting paid. Yeah. And it feels good. Yeah. 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 And I'll give you, I would almost go 50 fit. No, I'll give you <laughs> 75. I'll give Here you 90% that it's a kind of, I don't know what percentage. Anyway, but the emails are just flooded. Yes. With everybody saying wild things, by the way. Yes. And the, and the net on this is, is, is a thousand percent positive because we're all acting like this anyway. Yep. We we'll just admit it. Yeah. And then you'd be fine. And we're going to keep these all anonymous like we told you guys that we would. So everybody yeah. that's listening that wrote in that is like biting your nails right now as if we're going to say your name. Yeah. We're not going to say, say your name. name. You, you know, like Alcoholics Anonymous or like Narcotics Anonymous, A-A-N-A. -A -A. What is this? Ooh. Egos Anonymous. Egos Anonymous. Yeah. EA. Nice, dude. EA, EA Sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> EA. This is the EA. Egos Anonymous. It's you in write your brain. It, write it. And if people are going to listen to this and they're going to think about theirs. Yeah. And they're going to write in. Yes. We're going to have more of them. Yeah, let's keep this train rolling. All right. Let's get, we gotta, we'll only get a, we're coming to the end of the episode. We'll get a couple of them here. Though. All right. This one's from... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> hey, John and Alex. Love the pod and appreciate you guys. As a high school math teacher, I love my job. I think it's the greatest job in the world. I do truly love making a difference in a kid's life. Okay, stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got it? Do we agree with this? Yes. Do we support this? Yes. Yes. Is, yep. that, a good, is that a good and noble thing? Yeah. Yes, and if you've given your life to instruct other people to learn and better themselves, awesome. Double thumbs up. All right, what is the first word of the next paragraph? Line break, new paragraph. Also, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. As a young, relatable, fun teacher, it's, okay. fairly, <laughs> right. it's fairly easy for me to be the popular slash favorite teacher. Ooh. As a result, I love to go to my students' sporting events, school plays, extracurricular activities to show my, quote, support. Well, I like that. However. I love this guy. If you think I go to those sporting events to watch Trevor go 0 for 3 and make a couple errors at shortstop Why in a Tre JV baseball game. Why Trevor, dude? You are wrong. Trevor <laughs> catching strays. <laughs> Trevor's like, yo, what? Trevor's like, I know exactly who this is because I did go over three last weekend. Uh, I primarily go to hear my name shouted from the students on the field or students watching from the bleachers. Yeah. I've had my name chanted from student sections at football and basketball games before, parentheses flex. So I'm 100% taking that all in. I love this guy. Uh, see you at the game next Friday night. Not because I want to support your kid, just the tires are a little flat. In my opinion, 80% tire pumping, 20% showing support. That's nice, an unbelievable dude. email. Well done. That's an unbelievable email. <laughs> that is an unbelievable email. I love every second of that. Perfect. And everybody's going to go, yeah. Yeah. And he gave us 80-20. 80-20 is a bold 80 take. pumping. Yeah. But also, if you, like, I kind of know this energy. That's very honest. Like, I like that. The older, like, the teachers that are like curmudgeons or whatever, they're like, you're never going to pass <laughs> that. And this guy's young and cool. Yeah. At least... Yeah, he wears jays. Yeah, and for he's like, sure. but but like, what he wears like his khakis and his loafers to teach, but he comes up in jeans mm. to the game. Nice, and like probably wearing something like a hoodie. And his like, after hours clothing. Yeah, yeah. His and civilian clothes, bro. Just on the street. What? And they're they're probably calling by his first name. Nah, yeah. they probably don't do that. No, they they call him by an initial. Like it's yeah. it's like Mr. Z Coach or J. something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Coach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're <laughs> chanting his name. <laughs> But but the under you, yeah you can it's so undercover though yeah because that one's hard to expose yes good for him dude. yes that's good, good I, that and guy. I like the percentage eighty twenty is very honest give it to you I appreciate all right, here that we go. all right this one says uh okay here's one being a foster parent wow dude this is bold okay two percent of it 
is it feels good when people tell me how special I am to take care of those kids and how they could never do it. So they're going 98%. 98% good. Feel like actually serving. Altruistic. 98% yes. selfless. 2% ego. 2%. I mean, yeah, sure, it was a little weird, but on the net, net on the, on the, it, it, it was a positive, but it was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. But on the net, it's a positive.